Hey everybody, something slightly different today because as you know I've got some delays with my normal videos and every now and then I'd like to go on a little tangent and make some videos and today I want to play with some bismuth. Now I'm sure a lot of you, if you're uh, if you're watching this channel actually for a subscriber, as it turns out from talking to people in my Discord, uh, a lot of you are quite nerdy and you like this sort of stuff. Uh, and if you're new here, well consider hitting that subscribe button. So hopefully this will be up most of your street. Uh, it's pretty amazing, so let's have some fun, basically. Okay, first things first, what is bismuth? Bismuth is a metal. Uh, it's quite similar to lead in density and things like that, but it is not poisonous. Uh, it was considered for a long time to be the heaviest non-radioactive element, but in fact it is an alpha emitter, but a very, very low half-life, so it's basically negligible. Um, it's pretty safe to work with. It melts at about 271 degrees uh, uh, Celsius. Uh, Fahrenheit, because I don't do that normally, 520, there you go. Now, metals don't normally release gases and things until they're at their boiling point, and as the boiling point of this is 1560 C, or uh, 2850 odd Fahrenheit, we're not gonna get this close to boiling. So it's a very safe thing to experiment with, with proper precautions. The most amazing thing about it though, is the crystals it forms when it re-solidifies after you melt it. You'll see, hopefully, if I'm successful in this, I've, I've, done, I've been looking at doing this for a long time, and with the recent problems with COVID and getting parts for my normal motorcycle build, it's time to do something else. So, what we have here uh, is a hot plate, and I have a foil tray in it with some sand. Uh, the sand is warm, that's why I've got the hot plate here, because I want to be able to slow down the, the cooling of the metal because that will form larger crystals. Uh, the first thing I need to do though is I need to actually melt down a small amount of bits and pieces and dust uh, and then I can put that into the main melting pot in, towards the end. I'm doing this in my garage for obvious reasons but it is only about zero degrees in here, maybe one degree if we're lucky, uh, which is why I'm having to just warm up this. I don't want to thermo shock any of them. I mean, the metal tin will be fine, but this is ceramic, uh, and I don't want to thermally shock it. It probably won't break, but it's better to go from warm to hot than from, you know, stone cold freezing to, to hot. How hot are we? Okay, we are definitely a liquid. And it is cooling down. As you can see, that's making some cool colours. I'm just going to use this tool I've just made to move that somewhere it will cool down more. So I've taken my uh, tray of sand off the heater because this is now hot enough. Uh, and I've made holes in a piece of aluminium into the sand where I've got these two bowls. This one I'm going to melt all of it down into and hope to pull some crystals from it. And then I'd like to try and make a little geode type thing out of this one. So first we need to try and melt this all down. I've got a new can of gas because the other one was being a pain. I've just had a thought. This I don't know what this coating is going to do. I might move it to here and try this first. Pull some crystals, maybe melt some more in and then do it out that way. Okay, quite a lot of time has passed because I've been heating this up, but I'm now wondering whether a hot air gun, which supposedly can do 600 degree heat, will be able to do this. It'll be interested to find out. Surprisingly, that kind of works. Right, I think we're pretty liquid now, yep. So if we just clean up the surface. Uh, 
Okay, what you can see now as the colours are changing are due to a thin film effect. Uh, basically, I've done a video talking about this, it's about why different metals go different colours. An oxidisation... Ox oh my god! Oxidisation layer forms across the surface uh, and it changes the way that the wavelengths refract or reflect, you know, refract, refract through it, uh, and it changes the colour. It basically splits the spectrum. What we're waiting to see as this cools down is from some uh, crystal tops to start to form on the top. And we can try and pick those out. The longer we can leave them in there, the better. And the longer we can make the cool down process, the bigger the crystals will be. Okay, wow, well, now we've turned to like a purple from this angle. And the surface is just, oh, there's a crystal growing. Oh. That's gonna go gold, but with some hot air. I'll let that one cool off. Okay, it's solidifying. I don't really have much of a choice about this. Okay, now I need to pull this out. Whoa, that's heavy. Yeah, I fear I left that too long. It cools down a lot faster than you think. We can uh, melt it down again quick. Apologies, my camera died somewhere in there, and what I was just saying before it died was when it was molten, I just touched the surface with something cold to see if it would form a crystal, and it's grown, while I've legged it upstairs and got another memory card, into something much larger, like here. So, I'm going to leave that there and hope to keep it mobile. And before it actually fully sticks to the bottom, I'm going to yoink it out. On camera, this should look pretty stunning, but in person, it's insane. Um, I want to do more of this, but this is £40 worth of bismuth. I do need to get a single ring heater um, and a couple of pans and stuff. I would love, love to do some more of this. If you want to help me with that, please hit that like button if you want to see more like it, because if this video does really well, I can definitely then invest in some more stuff. Uh, yeah, it's not really, it's not really doing it. Okay, we have a bit of a failure here. As you can see, well, you may not be able to see at that angle. Most of this has solidified and all we really did was remelt the top. I need to melt it all the way through. Um, which I'm going to need a burner of some sort to do. I'm going to try and melt this again from the sides and from the bottom. Okay, let's try this again. I'm just going to touch the surface here. See that crystal start forming? Now I've got this on the hot plate, so I'm hoping to slow down the cooling process a little bit. But I think my main issue is I need more metal for more mass, uh, a heating element to heat the whole lot up, and uh, also uh, it not being so cold in here.
it's become instantly apparent to me that every other person that I've seen do this has been working with multiple kilos of bismuth, I think, because they're using whole entire saucepans full that gives you so much more time for it to cool down. There is a nice square crystal forming. And, and having more means you can allow the crystal to grow down or up and you can have bigger crystals and more time for it to grow. Whereas in with me, this small amount, it appears to be growing, well, solidifying very quick. I'm liking the look of that one. Wow, that is such a mental colour. You know, when someone says to me, what's your favourite colour? I can never give them the colour. Like, it, it's a blue-green, but it's not a real blue-green. It's to do with iridescence. So I don't... I, it's just mental. This one up. No. And as you can probably see here, I've got the same problem, which is that it just didn't melt that far down. I can't get enough heat into this to liquid liquefy all of it. So I really do think I'm going to have to get some sort of uh, burner top to do this. Okay, let's give you a close-up look at what we've managed to do so far. These are all very interesting close-up. As you can see here, we've got a square of a crystal starting to grow out there. This whole thing is made up of many... Oh, actually, this is way better when you see it close-up. You see there's loads of squares this side. Obviously, that was the top side, so we've got the green-blue, and then this side. It's all the purple-blue. But this is nothing like what I was trying to do, but it's a good start. If you remember that last one where I said I had a big square, you can see this is a big crystal starting. Although it seems to be made up of millions of other small square crystals, but it did start stepping down. But it just did, it didn't have enough molten uh, material under it or depth, which is why, as I say, um, a hot plate and more material will be better. This is also very failed, but it's interesting to show the different ranges of colours you can get, because that's practically silver blue, and then into golds and blues on this side. However, I did save the best till last, you know, the big one. This thing is awesome. It's nothing like what I was trying to make, but... This is just great. I've got some close-up pictures of this as well, so you can see it. But you can see this looks like it's made of, like, triangles, almost. I just cracked out the SLR with the macro lens on it to give you a closer look at this. I mean, just look at that, it's mental. The colour on this side's also very nice. And you can see little square crystals forming here. And you may also note on this one, we've got some sort of square long crystals growing down in a couple of places. That's cool to start with. But I would like to do more of this. I would like to get bigger crystals. I think this would be an interesting little series. So there you go. Technically, this was a complete fail, but this is a good fail, and I'd love to work on this some more. But as I say, more materials. I'm gonna need a hot plate. The rest of the pot I've left to cool down slowly, so hopefully it won't destroy my ceramic pot. So if you've enjoyed this little video, please do leave a like, subscribe to the channel, Maybe help consider supporting it some some way. There's links in the description so you can do that. And uh, I want to do more of this. I, I want to be at a point that I've got a saucepan with a couple of kilos in it. A small saucepan and I can actually grow some big crystals. I think it would be mad. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Catch you in the next one. Bye bye.